Shalom, Kodoshim. Hallelujah. Honor and esteem to Yahuwah Sevaov. Praise to the Most High. This is the deliverance prayer that's going to be focused on healing. We are going to be targeting infirmities and sicknesses in the body. In the body of Mashiach right now, many are suffering. Many are bruised. Many have illnesses and sicknesses. Many are also held to many forms of strongholds and bondages. Yeshayahu, Isaiah chapter 61, verse 1 through 3. The Ruach Adonai Yahuwah is upon me, because Yahuwah has anointed me to bring good news to the meek. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim release to the captives, and the opening of the prison to those who are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of Yahuwah and the day of vengeance of our Elohim, to comfort all who mourn, to appoint unto those who mourn in Sion, to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the Ruach of heaviness, and they shall be called trees of righteousness, a planting of Yahuwah to be adorned. Hallelujah. For this exact purpose, Yahushua HaMashiach was manifested to destroy the works of the devil. Yeshayahu, Isaiah chapter 53. Who has believed our reports? And to whom was the arm of Yahuwah revealed? For he grew up before him as a tender plant, and as a root out of dry ground. He has no form or splendor that we should look upon him, nor appearance that we should desire him, despised and rejected by men, a man of pains and knowing sickness, and as one from whom the face is hidden, being despised, and we did not consider him. Truly, he has borne our sicknesses and carried our pains, yet we reckoned him stricken, smitten by Elohim and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions, he was crushed for our wickednesses. The chastisement for our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. We all, like sheep, went astray. Each one of us has turned to his own way, and Yahuwah has laid on him the wickednesses of us all. He was oppressed, and he was afflicted, but he did not open his mouth. He was led as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before its shearers in silence, but he did not open his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment, and as for his generation, who considered that he shall be cut off from the land of the living? For the transgression of my people, he was stricken, and he was appointed a grave with the wicked and with the rich at his death, because he had done no violence, nor was deceit in his mouth. But Yahuwah was pleased to crush him. He laid sickness on him, that when he made himself an offering for guilt, he would see a seed. He would prolong his days, and the pleasure of Yahuwah prosper in his hand. From the suffering of his life, he would see light and be satisfied. Through his knowledge, my righteous servant makes many righteous, and he bears their iniquities. Praise Yahuwah. Thank you, Yahushua. Many of us are suffering because we have sinned, we have committed transgression. Many of us have done these things in ignorance. But despite that, we had to pay the penalty. The wages of sin is death. Yahushua died and he paid for all of this, which is why we should give him thanks every single day. Yerman Yahu, Jeremiah chapter 30, verses 12 through 17. For thus says Yahuwah, Your breach is incurable, your wound is grievous. No one pleads your cause to bind up. There are no healing medicines for you. All those loving you have forgotten you. They do not seek you, for I have smote you as an enemy smites with cruel chastisement, because your wickedness is great. Your sins have increased. Why do you cry about your breach? Your pain is incurable, because of your many iniquities. Because your sins have increased, I have done this to you. However, all those who devour you shall be devoured, and all your adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity, and those who exploit you shall be exploited. And all who pray upon you, I shall make it pray. For I restore health to you, and heal you of your wounds, declares Yahuwah. For they have called you an outcast, saying, This is Sion, no one is seeking her. Very powerful word. This word is speaking to somebody right now. There's somebody who's going to the doctor, and the doctor has no answer or no solution for this pain, this suffering that we're going through. The Father may have brought this affliction upon us in order to draw us near to him. Say Helene. Psalms chapter 107 verses 10 through 20. Some sat in darkness and in the shadow of death, bound in affliction and irons, because they rebelled against the word of El, and despised the counsel of the Most High. And he humbled their heart by toil. They stumbled, and there was no one to help. And they cried out to Yahuwah in their distress, and he saved them out of their troubles. He brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death, and he broke their chains in pieces. Let them give thanks to Yahuwah for his kindness, 
and his wonders to the children of men. But he has broken the gates of bronze, and he cut the bars of iron in two. Fools, because of their transgression, and because of their iniquities, were afflicted. Their being loathed all food, and they drew near to the gates of death, and cried out to Yahuwah in their distress. He saved them out of their troubles. He sent his word and healed them, and delivered them from their destructions. Hallelujah. The Father sent his word, and his word healed us, and saved us from our destructions. It's very important that we follow what the word says and obey. Exodus chapter 15 verse 26. And he said, If you diligently obey the voice of Yahuwah, your Elohim, and do what is right in his eyes, and shall listen to his commandments, and shall guard all his laws, I shall bring on you none of the diseases I brought on the Mitzrites, the Egyptians. For I am Yahuwah Rofeka, Yahuwah who heals you. Yahuwah is the greatest doctor. He is the one that heals. He is the one that wounds. If we put our trust and faith in him, in his word, then we have nothing to worry about. Yaakov, James chapter 1 verse 21. Therefore put away all filthiness and overflow of evil, and receive with meekness the implanted word, which is able to save your lives. And become doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. Because if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man who looks at his natural face in a mirror. For he looks at himself and goes away and immediately forget what he was like. But he that looked into the perfect Torah, that of freedom, and continues in it, not becoming a hearer that forgets, but a doer of work, this one shall be Baruch in his doing. Faith come by hearing and by hearing the word of Yahuwah. In order for the gifts of miracles and healing to manifest, we must first believe that it's possible. Mark chapter 9 verse 23, Yahushua said unto him, If you can believe, all things are possible to him that believes. Yahushua 9 chapter 14 verse 12, Truly, truly, I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he shall do also, and greater than these he shall do, because I go to my Father. And whatever you ask in my name, that I shall do, in order that the Father may be esteemed in the Son. If you ask whatever in my name, I shall do it. The apostles were witnesses of all the miracles and the healings that Yahushua himself did. Luke chapter 8, verse 43 through 48. And a woman having a flow of blood for twelve years, who, having spent all her livelihood on physicians, was unable to be healed by any, came from behind and touched the fringes of his garments, and immediately her flow of blood stopped. And Yahushua said, Who touched me? And when all denied it, Kepha and those with him said, Adonai, the crowds throng you and you press upon you, and you say, Who touched me? But Yahushua said, Somebody touched me, for I knew power went out from me. And the woman, seeing that she was not hidden, came trembling, and falling down before him, she declared to him in the presence of all the people why she had touched him, and how she was healed immediately. And he said to her, Take courage, daughter. Your belief has healed you. Go in peace. Hallelujah. Many right now are in dire situations. They are desperate to be healed, but the doctors can't heal them. I believe that this prayer by faith is going to set many free from their infirmities, from their pains, from their sufferings. Matthew chapter 10 verse 1. And having called his twelve Talmudim, his disciples near, he gave them authority over unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal every disease and every bodily weakness. Luke chapter 9 verses 1 and 2. And having called his twelve Talmudim, his disciples together, he gave them power and authority over all demons and to heal diseases. And he sent them to proclaim the kingdom of Elohim and to heal the sick. Yehuchanan, John chapter 8, verse 31 and 32. So Yehusha said to those Yahudim who believed him, If you stay in my word, you are truly my Talmudim, or my disciples, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So according to these scriptures, we are his disciples. We will do greater works than he did. Matthew chapter 8, verses 5 through 13. And when Yahushua had entered Capernaum, a centurion came to him, appealing to him, saying, Adonai, my servant is lying in the house paralyzed, grievously tortured. And Yahushua said to him, I shall come and heal him. And the centurion answering said, Adonai, I'm not worthy that you should come under my roof, but only say a word and my servant shall be healed. For I too am a man under authority, having soldiers under me. And I say to this one, go, and he goes. And to another, come, and he comes. And to my servant, do this, and he does it. And when Yahushua heard, he marveled and said to those who followed, Truly, I say to you, not even in Yahshua have I found such great faith. 
And I say to you that many shall come from east and west and sit down with Abraham and Isaac and Yaakov in the kingdom of the Shamayim. But the sons of the kingdom shall be cast out into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. And Yahushua said to the centurion, Go, as you have believed, so let it be done for you. And his servant was healed that all. Hallelujah. I believe that as this prayer goes forth, everyone under the sound of my voice will be healed immediately. Before we start these prayers, we have to address a few things. If we want to receive the healing, we got to expect it. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to allure him has to believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who earnestly seek him. Yaakov, James chapter 1 verses 5 through 8. If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of Elohim, who gives to all generously and without reproach, and it shall be given to him. But he shall ask in faith, not doubting, for he who doubts is like a wave of the sea, driven and tossed by the wind. For that man should not think that he shall receive whatever from Yahuwah. He is a double-minded man, unstable in all his ways. Double-mindedness could be a huge stumbling block in regards to receiving the healing. Double-mindedness is a demonic stronghold where many different spirits have established a fortress in a person's mind. In extreme cases, this is the root behind mental illnesses such as schizophrenia, bipolar, or even depression. The good news is, Yahushua has given us power to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt us. The main three demons that are rooted in double-mindedness are rejection, rebellion, and bitterness, or unforgiveness. When we are rejected, it could open up a doorway for many pains and sufferings. The hurt can cause us to begin to even reject ourselves, and this opens up the doorway for even more pain. I believe that bitterness or unforgiveness is the biggest culprit behind many sufferings. It is a huge open door to tormenting spirits. Let's go to the parable of the unforgiving servant. Matthew chapter 18 verses 21 through 35. Then Kepha came to him and said, Adonai, how often shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him? Up to seven times? Yahushua said to him, I do not say to you up to seven times, but up to seventy times seven. Because it is, the kingdom of the Shamayim is like a certain man, a sovereign or a king, who wanted to settle accounts with his servants. And when he had begun to settle, one was brought to him who owed him ten thousand talents. But as he was unable to pay, his master commanded that he be sold with his wife and children and all that he had, and payment to be made. Then the servant fell down before him, saying, Master, have patience with me, and I shall pay you all. And the master of that servant was moved with compassion, released him, and forgave him the debt. And that servant went out and found one of his fellow servants, who owed him a hundred silver pieces. And he laid hands on him, and took him by the throat, saying, Pay me what you owe. Then his fellow servant fell down at his feet and begged him, saying, Have patience with me, and I shall pay you all. But he would not, and went and threw him into prison till he should pay the debt. And when his fellow servants saw what he had done, they were deeply grieved and came and reported to their master all that had taken place. Then his master called him and said to him, Wicked servant, I forgave you all that debt seeing you begged me. Should you not also have had compassion on your fellow servant as I also had compassion on you? And his master was wroth and delivered him to the torturers until he should pay all that was due to him. So also my father of the Shamayim shall do to you if each of you from his heart does not forgive his brother his trespasses. This parable reveals to us truly how important it is to have forgiveness. Sometimes it's just as simple as letting go of that grudge and the Father will heal us. So now, let us begin these prayers and let us come into agreement. How can two walk together unless they be agreed? Matthew 18, 18, it is written, Truly, I say unto you, whatsoever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in the Shamayim, and whatsoever you shall loose on earth shall be loosed in the Shamayim. Again, I say unto you, that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in the Shamayim. But where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. Hallelujah. By faith, just as that centurion who was under authority, I'm coming in authority in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach, and I believe that this word go forth, everybody's going to be healed by these prayers in Yahushua's name. Let's go.
2 Corinthians chapter 10 verses 3 through 6 For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war according to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through a Luahim to the overthrowing of strongholds, overthrowing reasonings, and every high matter that exhausts itself against the knowledge of a Luahim, taking every thought captive and bringing them into the obedience of Mashiach, and having in a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. By this prayer, we demolish and overthrow strongholds. By this prayer, we enforce the victory over Hasatan that was won at the stake on that tree. We execute the judgments written against him through our prayers. Colossians chapter 2 verses 9 through 15 Because in him dwells all the completeness of the Almighty bodily, and you have been made complete in him, who is the head of all principality and authority. In him you were also circumcised with a circumcision not made with hands, and to put an off of the body of the sins of the flesh by the circumcision of Mashiach, and having been buried with him in immersion, in which you also were raised with him through the belief in the working of Yahuwah, who raised him from the dead, and you being dead in your trespasses and the uncircumcision of your flesh, he has made alive together with him, having forgiven you all trespasses, having blotted out the handwriting against us by the dogmas which stood against us, and he has taken it out of the way, having nailed it to the stake, having stripped the principalities and the authorities, he made a public display of them, having prevailed over them in it. According to this scripture, we reinforce the fact that principalities and powers have been spoiled. This honor, this authority is given to all the believers, the Kodoshim of Yahuwah Sevo. Yirmiyahu, Jeremiah 33 verse 3, Call on to me, and I shall answer you, and show you greatness and unknowns which you have not known. We are encouraged to call on Yahuwah. Yahuwah delights in our prayers, and he delights in answering our prayers. Before we call, he will answer, according to Isaiah 65, 24. Yahuwah's ears are open unto the prayers of the righteous, according to 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 12. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much, according to James chapter 5, verse 16. We are told to pray without ceasing, according to 1 Thessalonians 5, 17. Our Allah hears prayers. All flesh shall come to him in prayer, according to Psalm 65, verse 2. All believers have similar challenges, and all believers can overcome these challenges through prayer. Yahuwah is no respecter of persons. He is near to all who call upon him. According to Psalms 145, verse 19, Yahuwah will hear your supplication and receive your prayers. According to Psalms chapter 6, verse 9, calling upon Yahuwah will bring salvation and deliverance from all your enemies. According to Psalms 18, verse 3, this is our key to deliverance, calling on the name of Yahuwah. Joel chapter 2 verse 32 And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of Yahuwah shall be delivered. For in Mount Sion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance, as Yahuwah has said, and in the remnant whom Yahuwah shall call. Hallelujah. Acts chapter 4 verses 10 through 12 It is written, Be it known unto you all and to all the people of Yasharel, that by the name of Yahushua HaMashiach of Nazareth, whom you impaled, whom Yahuwah raised from the dead, by him, this one stands before you healthy. This is the stone which was rejected by you builders, which has become the chief cornerstone. And there is no deliverance in anyone else, but there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we need to be saved. Philippians chapter 2 verses 9 through 11. Wherefore, Yahuwah also has highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Yahushua every knee shall bow, of things in the Shamayim, and things in earth, and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Yahushua HaMashiach is Adonai to the esteem of Elohim the Father. Hallelujah. Yahuwah is our helper. Elohim will not turn away our prayers, according to Psalm 66, verse 20. Elohim will not despise our prayers, according to Psalms 102, 17. The prayers of the upright are Yahuwah's delight, according to Proverbs 15, verses 8. Whatever we ask in prayer, Believe it, we will receive, according to Matthew chapter 21, verse 22. Heavenly Father, O Yahuwah, we believe that we have been fearfully and wonderfully made. Yahuwah, you created us spirit, soul, and body, and mind. Yahuwah, you desire for us to be healthy in all areas of our lives, our spirit, soul, and body. And so, Yahuwah, we ask you to heal us and to deliver us from any negative images that we might have in our lives, any self-rejection, self-hatred, guilt, shame, fear, 
unforgiveness, bitterness, and resentment that we may have in our heart towards anybody, our mother, fathers, siblings, any person who has hurt us, rejected us, abandoned us, taken advantage of us, that has caused us to reject or hate ourselves. Father Yah, forgive us if we have spoken words against our own lives, if we had a death wish, or if we have said anything against our own selves. We break the power of those words. Any negative words out of our mouths against our own lives, we break the power of those words now in the name of Yahushua and by the power of his blood. Any self-inflicted curses of death, sickness, destruction, we break the power of those words now in the name of Yahushua. Any demons that have come into our lives through hurt, rejection, or bad relationships, we renounce you. We denounce you. You cannot stay in our lives. We command you to come out with all your roots in Yahushua's name. Heavenly Father, Yahuwah, we forgive ourselves for anything that we have done in the past that we are ashamed of. We renounce and denounce all shame, all guilt in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. We accept ourselves. We believe that you created us for a purpose. We are your creations and we will not reject ourselves. You made us a certain way and we will not despise it. So today, we renounce and denounce all self-rejection and self-hatred, all guilt, shame, fear, bitterness, anger, and resentment in our lives that is affecting our immune systems, blood systems, skeletal system, nervous system, and glandular systems in the name of Yahushua and by the power of his blood, our muscular systems, anything that is affecting our bowels, bones, joints, stomach, pancreas, kidneys, livers, spleen, intestines, throat, and every organ of our bodies, even our hearts, in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. We bind and rebuke and command every spirit that will operate in our hearts, intestines, belly, any organs of our bodies that will cause it to not function properly. We command you to come out of our lives with all your roots, in the name of Yahushua. All spirits of sickness, infirmity, disease, death, premature death, and destruction, in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. We renounce you, we denounce you right now, and we command you to leave. Any spirits affecting our blood, our blood sugar levels, our blood pressure levels, we renounce you, we denounce you, we bind you, we rebuke you. We command you to come out now with all your roots in the name of Yahushua. We speak to all pain, swelling, infirmity, and rottenness in our bones. We command you to leave our bodies now. Any devils that dries up the bones in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach, we command you to come out now with all your roots. Any devils that causes our blood to be unhealthy, in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. Any devils that causes our body to attack itself and destroy itself, you cannot stay in our bodies. We command you all right now to go. You gotta come out now with all your roots in Yahushua's name. We command you to go by the power of Yahuwah Sebaot, by the anointing of Yahushua HaMashiach. You cannot stay. We renounce you, we denounce you, and we repent. And we command you all to leave now, come out now with all your loads, all your bags, and all your roots in Yahushua's mighty name. O oh, Yahuwah, in the mighty name of Yahushua, we thank you that we do not have to suffer from bitterness because of life experiences. Yahuwah, every person has dwelt with something that could cause any one of us to hold on to bitterness and anger. But Yahuwah, we will not allow bitterness to destroy our lives. We will not allow any bitterness to come between us, our family members, or anyone else. We will not allow bitterness to come because of satanic attacks. We will not allow bitterness to come because of lust. We will not allow bitterness to come because of alcohol and drugs. We will not allow bitterness to come because of video games, entertainment, movies, and television. We will not die with bitterness, and we will not allow bitterness to come out of our lips. We will not allow bitterness to destroy our physical health. We renounce and denounce all bitterness, unforgiveness, anger, hurt, and rage in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. O oh, Yahuwah, we come against all spirits of unfairness, feelings that life has been unfair. We renounce and denounce the victim mentality and feelings of being cheated. We walk in love, forgiveness, humility, compassion, and kindness in the name of Yahushua. We thank you, Yahuwah, thank you, Yahushua, for delivering us from the root of bitterness and from hatred and anger. Yahushua, you died to overcome bitterness, and even on the stake you said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. So you did not allow bitterness to come into your heart, even when you were being crucified. King Yahushua, you overcame bitterness, and you overcame it for us all. Bitterness, you are defeated. Yahushua defeated you on that tree. You have no right to be in our lives. You have no place in our lives anymore. In Yahushua's name, Amen. Heavenly Father, Yahuwah Sebaot, we believe that Yahushua is the son of Yahuwah. 
We believe that Yahushua died on the tree for our sins. We believe that Yahushua overcame every principality, every power, through his death on that stake. We believe that Yahushua defeated bitterness, unforgiveness, resentment, anger, hatred, rage, wrath, and murder in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. These demons are defeated. The love of Yahuwah and the power of the blood defeat you now. You have no place to operate in our lives anymore. We will not be a bitter person. We will not allow bitterness to destroy us, to destroy our bodies. We are delivered from the spirits of bitterness. We renounce and denounce all bitterness, anger, hatred, murder, rage, retaliation, spite, and revenge in the name of Yahushua. We renounce and denounce all pain, misery, and frustration in the name of Yahushua. We renounce and denounce all sickness, all lust in the mighty name of Yahushua. We renounce and denounce all alcohol and all drug addictions. In the name of Yahushua HaMashiach, we break the powers of bitterness. If there is any bitter root in our lives, we command you, in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach, to be plucked up from the root, uprooted, and cast into the sea. In Yahushua's name, we renounce and denounce all hurt, all brokenheartedness. We forgive any person who has hurt us, mistreated us, abandoned us, taken advantage of us, disappointed us, rejected us, stolen from us, or even cheated us. We forgive them and we barat them in Yahushua's name. O oh, Yahuwah, we forgive our relatives for anything that they've done to hurt us or disappoint us. We love them and we barat them in the name of Yahushua. We forgive any leader, pastor, or authority figures who have ever hurt us, disappointed us, rejected us, or taken advantage of us. We forgive them and we barat them in Yahushua's name. In the name of Yahushua HaMashiach, we loose ourselves from all bitterness, all anger, all hatred, all rage, all murder, and command these devils to leave our bodies now, leave our hearts, leave our mind, leave our mouth and tongue. In the name of Yahushua HaMashiach, you cannot stay, you must depart. Every strong man, every strong woman, we bind you, we rebuke you, we cast you out. Every stronghold of bitterness, resentment, unforgiveness, and root of bitterness, we drive you out. In the mighty name of Yahushua HaMashiach of Nazareth, O oh, Yahuwah, we thank you that you are a healer. We believe that you are Yahuwah Rofeka, Yahuwah that heals. We will not allow our past bad experiences to make us bitter. We will not allow the root of bitterness to develop in our lives. O oh, Yahuwah, we forgive any person in our past who has ever hurt us, disappointed us, rejected us, abandoned us, abused us, or taken advantage of us in any way. Father Yah, we ask you to forgive them, and we forgive them. We forgive ourselves, and we forgive you, O oh, Yahuwah. We lose love, mercy, and favor upon them all. We release ourselves from all bitterness, hurt, rejection, and pain from our past in the name of Yahushua. We cut every cord, every rope, every string between infirmity and bitterness in our lives in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. We renounce and denounce all sicknesses, disease, and allergies in the name of Yahushua. And we pray for healing, miracle healing in Yahushua's name. Any cancers or arthritis, you cannot take root in our systems any longer. We renounce you. We denounce you. By the fire of the Ruach HaKodesh, we drive you out in the name of Yahushua. Oh, Yahuwah, we commit ourselves to being kind, loving, merciful, and courteous towards others. Love our neighbors as ourselves. In the name of Yahushua, we walk in forgiveness. We will not be mean. We will not retaliate. We will not walk in spite or revenge. We will not be malicious. In the mighty name of Yahushua. Heavenly Father, Yahuwah Sebaoh, we thank you that we are healed, whole, and delivered. And we command every devil of bitterness, unforgiveness, resentment, anger, murder, retaliation, revenge, and spite to leave our lives. Come out with all your roots in the name of Yahushua. All devils of rebellion and stubbornness, you must go. We bind you. We rebuke you. You cannot stay in our lives any longer. Come out with all your roots in the name of Yahushua. We will be healed of all bitterness and resentment in the mighty name of Yahushua. We thank you, Yahuwah. We thank you, Yahushua, for healing and delivering us. Hallelujah. At this point, this will be a great time if you know there's anybody that you need to forgive. If the Father's putting it in your heart to forgive them, this is the time to do it. Pray for them. Barak them. Release yourself from that bitterness. Holding on to that grudge and that bitterness is not the will of the Most High for your life. If Yahuwah is bringing the names of the people to your mind, you need to forgive them now. And I pray that the Father give you strength to let it go, and you will be healed in Yahushua's name. 
Now we're going to deal with breaking the spirit of double-mindedness. Matthew chapter 12, verse 28 and 29. But if I cast out devils by the Ruach Yahuwah, then the kingdom of the Lord him has come unto you. Or else how can one enter to a strong man's house and spoil his goods, except he first bind the strong man, and then he will spoil his house. Luke chapter 11, verse 21 and 22. When a strong man armed keeps his court, his goods are in peace. But when a strong in it, he shall come upon him and overcome him, he takes from him all his armor wherein he trusted and divides his spoils. Galatians chapter 3, verse 13, it is written, Mashiach has redeemed us from the curse of the Torah and been made a curse for us, but it is written, Curses everyone that hangs on a tree. In order that the Baraka of Abraham might come upon the Gentiles in Mashiach Yahushua to receive the promise of the Ruach through belief. By the power in the blood of Yahushua, we break all curses of schizophrenia, double mindedness, rejection, insomnia, depression, madness, and any other mental illness offered by lives and families in the name of Yahushua. We bind, rebuke, and disable every spirit that would attempt to distort, disturb, or disintegrate the development of our personalities in the name of Yahushua. We bind, rebuke, and disable the spirit of double mindedness in the name of Yahushua. We bind, rebuke, and take authority over the strong man, the strong woman of rejection and rebellion, and we separate them in the name of Yahushua. We bind and rebuke and cast out the spirits of rejection, fear of rejection, self-rejection. We command you to break, loose your hold, come out with all your roots in the name of Yahushua. We bind, rebuke, and cast out all spirits of lust, fantasy, harlotry, and perverseness. We command you break, loose your hold, come out now with all your roots in the name of Yahushua. We bind, rebuke, and cast out all spirits of insecurity and inferiority. We command you, break, loose your hold, come out now with all your roots in the name of Yahushua. We bind, rebuke, and cast out all spirits of self-accusation and compulsive confession. We command you, break, loose your hold, come out now with all your roots in the name of Yahushua. We bind, rebuke, and we cast out all spirits of fear, judgment, self-pity, false compassion, and false responsibility. We command you, break, loose your hold, come out now with all your roots in the name of Yahushua. We bind and rebuke and cast out all spirits of depression, despondency, despair, discouragement, and hopelessness. We command you, break, loose your hold, come out now with all your roots in the name of Yahushua. We bind, rebuke, and cast out all spirits of guilt, condemnation, unworthiness, and shame. We command you, break, loose your hold, come out now with all your roots in the name of Yahushua. We bind and rebuke and cast out all spirits of perfection, pride, vanity, ego, intolerance, frustration, and impatience. We renounce you. We denounce you. We command you to break, loose your hold. Come out now with all your roots in the name of Yahushua. We bind, rebuke, and cast out all spirits of unfairness, withdrawal, pouting, unreality, fantasy, daydreaming, and vivid imaginations. We renounce you. We denounce you. We command you to break, loose your hold. Come out now with all your roots in the name of Yahushua. We bind, rebuke, and we cast out all spirits of self-awareness, timidity, loneliness, and sensitivity. We command you to break, loose your hold. Come out now with all your roots in the name of Yahushua. We bind and rebuke, and we cast out all spirits of talkativeness, nervousness, tension, and fear. We command you to break, loose your hold. Come out now with all your roots in the name of Yahushua. We bind and rebuke and cast out all spirits of self-will, selfishness, stubbornness. We renounce you. We denounce you. We reject you. We command you to break, loose your hold. Come out now with all your roots in the name of Yahushua. We bind and rebuke and cast out the spirit of accusation. We command you break, loose your hold. Come out now with all your roots in the name of Yahushua. We bind and rebuke and cast out all spirits of self-delusion, self-deception, and self-seduction. We command you, break, loose your hold, come out with all your roots in the name of Yahushua. We bind and rebuke and cast out all spirits of judgment, pride, and unteachableness. We renounce you, we denounce you, we reject you, we command you to break, loose your hold, come out with all your roots in the name of Yahushua. We bind and rebuke and cast out all spirits of control and possessiveness. We command you to break, loose your hold, come out with all your roots in the name of Yahushua. We bind and rebuke and cast out the root of bitterness. We command you to come out now with all your roots bitterness in the name of Yahushua. We bind and rebuke and cast out all spirits of hatred, resentment, violence, murder, unforgiveness, anger, and retaliation. We command you to break, loose your hold, come out with all your roots in the name of Yahushua. We bind, rebuke, and we cast out the spirits of paranoia, suspicion, distrust, persecution, 
confrontation and fear. We renounce you. We denounce you. We command you to break loose your hold. Come out with all your roots in the name of Yahushua. Hallelujah. Thank you, Yahuwah. Thank you, Yahushua, for giving us power and authority over unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal diseases. Now, we're going to do some health and healing declarations. We are going to speak directly to these infirmities, to these sicknesses, and we're going to command them to be cast into the sea. Matthew chapter 21, verses 18 through 22, it is written, Now in the morning as he returned into the city, that is, Yahushua, he hungered, and when he saw a fig tree in the way, he came to it and found nothing on it, but leaves only, and said to it, Let no fruit grow on you ever again. And immediately the fig tree withered, and when the disciples saw it, they marveled, saying, How did the fig tree wither so soon? Yahushua answered and said to them, Truly I say to you, if you have belief and do not doubt, you shall not only do this which is done to the fig tree, but also if you shall say to this mountain, Be removed and be cast into the sea, it shall be done. And all things whatsoever you shall ask in prayer, believing, you shall receive. Hallelujah. By the stripes of Yahushua HaMashiach, we are healed. He took our sicknesses. He carried our pains. We believe it is the will of Yahuwah for us to be healed in Yahushua's name. We break every curse of infirmity, sickness, and premature death off of our bodies now in the name of Yahushua. We break every curse of witchcraft and destruction over our bodies from both sides of our families in the name of Yahushua and by the power of his blood. We speak to every sickness in our body and we command you to leave. Come out with all your roots in the name of Yahushua. We speak to diabetes, high blood pressure, cancer, heart attack, stroke, and multiple sclerosis. Be removed and cast into the sea now in the name of Yahushua and by the power of his blood. We speak to heart, kidney, back, lung, and liver problems. Be removed and cast into the sea. Don't come back here in the name of Yahushua. We speak to blood, skeletal, and bone conditions. We command you to be removed and cast into the sea. Be broken to pieces in the name of Yahushua. We speak to lupus. In every other disease, we command you to leave our bodies. Come out with all your roots in the name of Yahushua. Every hidden sickness and every hidden disease, we command you to leave our bodies now. Come out with all your roots. Be cast into the sea in the name of Yahushua. Arthritis, pain, and rheumatism, you must go. We command you, break, loose your hold. Come out with all your roots in the name of Yahushua. In the name of Yahushua, we command all pain to leave our bodies right now. In the name of Yahushua, we come against skin conditions. We command that curse to be broken in the name of Yahushua and by the power of his blood. We tell all infections to come out of our body now with all your roots in the name of Yahushua. We speed the breathing conditions, asthma, hay fever, sinusitis, chest congestion, pneumonia, coronavirus. We tell them to come out of our bodies with all your roots in the name of Yahushua. Joint conditions and pain must go in the mighty name of Yahushua. We come against any conditions and infirmities that would affect the sisters as women, lupus, fibroids, cysts, and tumors in the female organs. We command these tumors to die, break, and loose your hold. Come out in the name of Yahushua. We loose the fire of Yahuwah to burn them all out in Yahushua's name. We come against nervous conditions, insomnia, acid reflux. Yahuwah has not given us the Ruach of fear, but a power and of love and of a sound mind. We command insomnia, break, in the name of Yahushua. Heart and circulatory conditions, irregular heartbeat, angina, and stroke must leave our bodies now. We are the temple of the Ruach HaKodesh. Be gone now in the name of Yahushua. We speak the digestive disorders and allergies to certain food. You have no place in our bodies. You must go. Come out with all your roots now in the name of Yahushua. We break any and all addiction to pain pills in the name of Yahushua and by the power of his blood. Every corroded disc, slip disc, spine, back and neck problems be realigned and put back in its perfect place in the name of Yahushua and by the power of his blood. Oh Yahuwah by faith we release miracles of healing all over our bodies from the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet in the name of Yahushua. We believe in Yahuwah for miracles of healing in our lives and families wherever we go. Thank you Yahuwah for healing us and delivering us from all sickness and all pain. Hallelujah. We speak to every condition they gotta obey. We speak to miracles healings, signs, and wonders be released into us now in the name of Yahushua. And we thank you, Yahuwah, that health and healing are coming to us right now. You sent your word and you healed us and you saved us from our destructions. Hallelujah. Now, last but not least, we're going to start to cast out every spirit of infirmity. Oh, Yahuwah, forgive us for allowing any fear, guilt, 
self-rejection, self-hatred, unforgiveness, bitterness, sin, pride, or rebellion to open the door or a gate to any sickness or infirmities. We renounce these things. We denounce these things in the mighty name of Yahushua. We bind, rebuke, we break and cast out any spirits of cancer that would attempt to establish itself in our lungs, bones, our chest, throat, back, spine, liver, kidneys, pancreas, skin, stomach, and the reproductive organs. We command you to break in the name of Yahushua. We bind, rebuke, and cast out all spirits causing diabetes, high blood pressure, low blood pressure, heart attack, stroke, kidney failure, leukemia, blood disease, breathing problems, arthritis, lupus, Alzheimer's, or insomnia. We command you to come out with all your roots in the name of Yahushua. We break all curses of sickness and disease, and we command all hereditary spirits of sickness to come out with all your roots in the name of Yahushua and by the power of his blood. We bind, rebuke, and disable any spirit of infirmity that came into our lives through pride. We command you, break, loose your hold, come out with all your roots in the name of Yahushua. We bind, rebuke, and cast out any spirit of infirmity that came into our lives through trauma or accidents. We command you to break, loose your hold, come out with all your roots now in the name of Yahushua. We bind, rebuke, and disable any spirit of infirmity that came into our lives through rejection. We command you to break, loose your hold, come out now with all your roots in the name of Yahushua. We bind, rebuke, disable, and cast out any spirits of infirmity that came into our lives through witchcraft. We command you to break right now, come out with all your roots in the name of Yahushua. We command every germ or sickness that touches our body to catch fire, roast the ashes in the name of Yahushua. We bind rebuke any sickness that will come to eat up our flesh in the name of Yahushua. We decree and declare according to Psalm 91.10 that no sickness or plague will come near our dwellings in Yahushua's name. We loose ourselves now from every infirmity in the mighty name of Yahushua. And according to Galatians 3.13, we are redeemed from every curse of sickness and disease. In Yahushua's mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Yes, Yahu, Isaiah chapter 54, verse 11 and 12. O oh, you afflicted one, tossed with storm and not comforted, behold, I will lay your stones with emeralds and your foundation with sapphires, and I shall make your battlements of rubies and your gates of crystal and all your walls of precious stones. Yahuwah, according to this word, Father, break down the faulty foundations, the walls, the gates, the windows, borders, the battlements, and the roof of our lives, and rebuild it, restore it, repair it, fortify it, then barricade it in a new one, in Mashiach Yahushua. In the name of Yahushua, Zechariah chapter 2, verses 3 through 5. And behold, the messenger that talked with me went forth, and another messenger went out to meet him, and said unto him, Run, speak to this young man, saying, Jerusalem shall be inhabited as towns without walls for the multitude of men and cattle therein. For I, says Yahuwah, will be unto her a wall of fire round about, and will be the kabod in the midst of her. Hallelujah. According to this word, Yahuwah, build a wall of fire round about us, our households, our workplaces, our transportations, and be the kavod in the midst of it, in the name of Yahushua. O Yahuwah, as in Job chapter 1, verses 10, Father, I pray that there be a divine hedge of protection around us and all our households on all sides that the enemy can't penetrate, in Yahushua's name. Acts chapter 2, verses 2 through 4. And suddenly there came a sound from the Shamayim as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire, and it sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Ruach HaKodesh, and began to speak with other tongues as the Ruach gave them utterance. O Yahuwah, as a rushing mighty wind, fill up the household wherever we're sitting at. Fill us with your Ruach HaKodesh until the cup overflows. Fill up every crack, every crevice that was emptied out, Father. Fill us with your power, with your might, with your love, with your shalom, and fill us with your understanding and revelation. May all the fruits of the Ruach HaKodesh begin to manifest in our lives from this moment, from this instant. In the name of Yahushua HaMashiach and Nazareth, we pray. Amen. Amen. It's done. So be it. All honor and esteem belongs to the King of Kavod. Yahuwah Sebaoth is his name. We thank you, Yahushua. The Lamb that's worthy to be praised. The Lamb slain before the foundation of the world. All the honor and esteem belongs to you. Hallelujah. I believe that there's going to be some big time breakthroughs, huge testimonies. Many are going to get set free from every infirmity, every illness, every mental disorder. All praise and honor belongs to Yahuwah Rofeka. He is our healer. Hallelujah.
Listen as many times as you need. Keep fighting a good fight of faith. Shalom.